This is a full review, so if you would like to skip the unboxing and setup of the airplane and get to the flight test, please advance the video 15 minutes. Hello RC friends, welcome back to Pops and Wheels. We are doing another unboxing today of an RC aircraft we got from eBay and my younger son Kai is helping with this. So let's open up the box and see what is inside. I'm I was going to give you this, but no, that last time you cut yourself, so let's be safe and use the yeah. scissors. So this is something I got, I ordered from eBay. It is something different than I regularly fly, but I wanted to try out anyway, and I'm going to tell you why in a minute. This was uh, something like toy grade, it's not really hobby grade. Jet. Yeah, it looks like fighter jet, right? What do you think? You didn't know what was inside, right? Yeah. This is sold as fly bear. I don't know why they call it like fly bear. SU-35, delightfully RC series. Well, hopefully it is delightful. But what is different about this is it is two channel, two channel jet. It is something new. When I started RC Hobby, there were no like two-channel jet planes, but now we do, and they're very inexpensive. Okay, let's see what is inside. All right. <laughs> Here it is folks, this comes separate, yeah, this is yeah. the vertical stabilizer. What do you think Kaya? Oh, it looks good. So here's the instruction manual, do we have anything in, in English? Yeah, it's I think Chinese and English at the same time. Good. Yeah. And what else can you say about it? Mm-hmm. That's not jet. It looks like a jet, but it has two props, folks. Yeah. FX820. China Air Force. It's definitely made in China. That's for sure. Why did, did I get this? Well, the only two-channel airplanes I flew were like years ago, and then they were indoors. They were really slow flyers. Um, and what you do basically is, when you are flying something like this, you are controlling the motors only. There are no control surfaces. If I take this out, you will see there are no movable control surfaces. So everything is fixed. You also so, have an extra one. Oh no, it's oh. not extra one. It has two, two. vertical That's stabilizer. Cool. It looks like they just click in. Like you put, yeah. put, put that in. And then, yeah, they do. So I think they, they made it like that so it does not take up as much space in the in the box. Probably can use it like this because yeah, you know, if you look here, what do you see, Kaya? Um, it just looks like you just put it in and then... They go in the slot and then just push, it push it in and... Yeah. I mean, they are not really tight in there, but if, if you drop it, if you crash it, it's not going to, I mean, they are going to just pop up and then not cause any damage. But if you are not planning to use the box as a carrying case, by the way, it has a handle. So if you want to take this around, I always like the fact that some of the manufacturers put these. I love these handles, because you never know when you're going to carry it like a box. So when I'm taking airplanes, helicopters to the field, sometimes I use that, like the local park. As a instead of just putting in a in a bag, I just carry the, the case, whole case. So overall, it looks uh, nice and sturdy. It is made from EPP, that stands for expanded polypropylene. It's not same as polystyrene. So this is polystyrene. It breaks very easily. It chips. I mean, you can just peel it up. And this is not like that. This is very flexible and sturdy and it does not explode into millions of pieces if you drop it, so, so uh, crash it. Doesn't it need three batteries or AA batteries? 
batteries. So double A batteries and then we only have uh, here's the controller. Mm -hmm. We only have the probably turn on button, the light, the throttle. Yes. And then turn. Right, left turn. Okay, so this is how a two channel planes work. When you don't have any control surfaces, you are just giving direct differential throttle between the right and left motor. Mm. So when you give throttle, you are throttling up both motors. When you throttle down, you are decreasing the RPM of both. And when you want to turn, if you One go, console. yeah, no, I mean, if you go right, it is differentially giving more throttle to the left and less throttle to the right. So it's kind of like a creating that turning tendency, more force from the left hand side than right hand side, it turns right. And then the opposite way, you, know, you go left, you are throttling up the right motor more than the left one, so it's turning left. And it is not a very good way of controlling the turn, especially the pitch angle, because suppose you want to climb, right? You hit the throttle, the props spin up, and it starts pushing more, as it, it, as it starts going faster and faster, it starts climbing. And then you, you, you come down, you throttle down, and it's just gliding down. So if you want to make any sudden changes, for example, to avoid somebody's head, maybe it's coming down, you throttle up and you have to wait a couple of seconds. So you, you have to be always ahead of the plane, meaning that you have to make your plan to start climbing early on in order to get around some obstacles, for example. And then when you are turning, there is always a loss of lift because the effective lift is uh, being used, part of it, a component of it is being used to turn to, towards the right. So you are losing vertical lift. So the plane starts coming down. And so before you start to turn, you always have to throttle up to stay at the same altitude so you don't lose any altitude. Let's take a look at these. So this is a three channel airplane. So here you are controlling the motor, that's the throttle, how much power you give. And you are controlling the, the pitch angle using this control surface on the horizontal stabilizer. Go up and down like this. So there's instant control. And for the turns, in this, on this case, in three-channel airplane, you are controlling it via the rudder on the vertical stabilizer. So it gives you like instantaneous control, which is not the case with the two channels. On a four-channel airplane, you know, you have one more control surface. That's, those are the ailerons. So the ailerons control the bank angle like this. So you start to turn, you have the bank. You, start, you still have the throttle or the motor. And then for the pitch angle, you have the elevator on the horizontal stabilizer. And then the rudder helps with the turns. It is just the yaw. Just by the, you know, turning the rudder, you cannot turn if you have wings like this, which is straight. In order to, to, to be able to turn with the rudder on the three-channel airplane, you have to have what is called a dihedral angle. So the wing is not straight, it is going up. That, that dihedral angle creates that banking tendency okay so what we are going to do next is charge up the battery which should be <laughs> inside the airplane usually they, they pack it inside the plane to save some space here it is let me show you what what it looks like and it is a one cell that's 3.7 volt and 300 milliamp hour battery and this is a very tiny plane, so it should give plenty of uh, flight time. And everything is inside, so there's a little antenna. And in this little packet you have, if you want to install, you have the landing gear. It's a funny landing gear, so the front gear is really high, so the will give once you install it will be sitting like that so that's help it to take off your plan to take off from the ground and it also comes with an two two propellers these are spare plug propellers and a little battery charger that plugs into your computer's USB port or a USB adapter so you just plug it in and then charge it so we are going to do that now and 
once everything is ready we are going to go outside into the local park and try to fly it let's see how it does by the way I got this from eBay uh, for less than $35 the total cost was $34.99 uh, the plane itself was about $33, free shipping with the tax to Massachusetts, it was $34.99. So it is toy grade, but it is cheap, so if you want to get started, hey, go ahead and do it. But my recommendation would be, if you are serious about it, get at least a 3-channel or maybe 4-channel airplane. The instruction manual is good, it's well illustrated. The English is quite good, it doesn't look like it has been translated using Google Translate. And just a couple things, it says that there should be a tube of glue in the accessory package, there isn't, so you have to use your own glue. My recommendation would be not gluing the vertical stabilizers, just using clear tape. The advantage of that would be you can use this nice box as a carrying case. If you put these on using glue, you won't be able to take them off. And they already slotted in. You can leave them like that, but when this comes down, uh, they may pop off and you may have trouble finding it if it's like tall grass. So I recommend just putting a little bit of tape on each side and that should hold it in place. and stable during flight, so. And then when you have to take it off, it will be very, very easy to do that. So that's my recommendation. That's what I'm going to do. Just make sure they, they look straight. Yeah, same way. So you can just adjust it. It looks nice and straight, by the way. And another feature is the rubber nose. So this portion of the nose is made from soft rubber. So when it hits something, it's very soft and there's a little bit of air that escapes. So it's kind of like a bouncy effect. It's a nice feature. So it, you know, it doesn't break the foam or it doesn't <laughs> hurt somebody's head. It's very soft. Nice feature. So now I'm going to put in the landing gear. This is the rear landing gear. Here with these, you bring it into the slot like here and then squeeze a little bit and then push it in and it should be all good. So it's kind of like the ridiculously small and <laughs> funky looking compared to the airplane, <laughs> jet plane. And then the front landing gear goes in like this. So it's showing it here as that little section, this section facing front. So it's the right orientation basically. Press that in and it's in. And they already built in the, the angle, let me show you. So if you want to take off, you, know, you need uh, some angle of attack, not to be like this, so it will take off. So they already been built in that angle of attack and you always take off towards the wind. If you ever have to change the propellers, let me tell you about these propellers. So in order to counterbalance the movement, the rotational movement of each motor, they spin in opposite way. So this one, in order to push the air, spins counterclockwise to push the air. And then this one spins clockwise. So that basically ba balances out the, the mom uh, angular momentum or rotational torque. And if you have to ever change your props, there are two types of props. And uh, there should be something printed on them. It's difficult to see. This, this says L. Or I don't know, you can see that that's L for left, and this has R. Let me hold it. R for right. Let's install the batteries and quickly test the plane. The manual says to install the battery to the, to the airplane first and then turn on the transmitter. Let's do that. There should be, we should see a light blinking. And there's also, I don't know if you see it, it's not listed in the manual, but there's a little on-off switch, which is good. I, I like on-off switches on radio control airplanes, in case you have to quickly turn, turn it off. So the light is blinking, and this one blinking as well, lowest position, and they should both stop blinking. And this is still blinking. Let's see if I have to do, usually like 
up and down okay so this was not I don't think this was this is on the manual either so you have to now it is activated you see it is working okay we are good to go outside and try this out one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the landing gear I'm not planning to use them on tall grass by the way I just realized something you have to push these vertical stabilizers once the, the tabs get in this slot you have to push them all the way until they click in so before it was not clicked then it was just wobbly now it's nice and tight I still put the tape just in case but you don't even have to once this uh, this section reaches to the front it's good so that before there was a gap so now it's nice and tight so Kaya is going to do the maiden flight good luck it's not the best day this the conditions this morning were perfect you know nice uh, blue sky and no wind but it is uh, towards the afternoon and the wind has picked up quite so the wind is coming from towards us towards the camera right now and I don't know how this is going to fare but I told Kaya to cut down the power if it's going towards the trees or away towards the street on our back okay why don't you turn it on oh, so turn on the plane from here this little switch the battery is already in let's turn it on okay let's see and the blue light is blinking good What's next? Now we need to turn on this transmitter. It's blinking as well, and then what, what do we, we do? We have next? to. <coughs> Alright, you did it one time and it bound, and then the second time you pushed it, it was ready to fly. So. I expected a beep, but. No, no, no beeping. It just does it like that, huh? Alright. Okay, do you want me to hand launch it for you? Sure. It's a bit windy, so hopefully. We can do it without crashing. Ready? Yep. Oh, into the. Where is it? What? Yeah, no, it's a stop the stop the throttle. I did. Oh, uh, it was into the sun and we got blinded. We got absolutely blinded. I didn't know where it was. Fault. I saw it. <laughs> right above us. Yeah, I think it was. Uh, where did you give full throttle? I gave full maybe maybe 50% throttle and see where it goes and then try to start turning uh, left when it reaches that end, okay? Yeah, it's a bit hard to do like this. Yeah, don't cut the throttle, just be be gentle. You're doing good, you're doing good. Yeah, try to keep it up in the air. Yeah, it's a bit windy. But you're doing okay. All right, cut down throttle. Yeah, it's also a bit windy and it's hard. Well, two-channel airplane folks are very difficult to fly in windy weather because you don't have any control surfaces. I you are keep trying to adjust. This up and down and just. No, no, yeah, I, I know it's like two-channel plane. Don't don't start it up. Well, let's do another try. Try to keep it stable at a certain altitude, and turn around and then don't just cut. Yeah, you know, put the power on and off, on and off. I okay. also notice that when you turn, even if you don't have the throttle on, it still turns on the throttle. Oh yeah, it's trying to turn, so that's what it does. Yeah. When you, when you move the right stick right on left, it's just uh, engaging the Wait. engaging the propellers, the motors, to turn the plane around. So, and ready? Let's. Do trying to push against it. Yeah, just don't take it too high. Yeah, I don't, don't. Take it too high. Like, like, I'm cutting down the throttle. Okay. I'm All right, go, go get it, <laughs> tiger. All right, folks, no damage. You know, the, that rubber nose helps keeping it intact. So I'm going to try next. 
and hopefully it will be a better flight. I'm going to start from here actually. Yeah, it is purposing quite a bit. You have to be very gentle with the... It is coming though, slowly. I mean, it is flyable, you just have to do real good throttle management. So I'm just cutting the throttle very slowly so it doesn't suddenly start diving and then starting a left turn and I'm trying to avoid the sun, okay, under the sun. No, not trying not to get too, too much. I'm just doing small controls. All right, I'm going to turn the throttle down a little more and then still do a right turn. I'm cutting down quite a bit. Okay, so I mean, this is the throttle setting. You can probably see. And now I'm starting to give throttle and then it immediately starts going up. It may be a little uh, too tail heavy. Above us. I mean, it is it is a toy. It's it's better than I expected. Actually, it's doing uh, much better than I expected in the in the wind. You just have to do like really small adjustments, and you know, this, the power is almost off, but it's still flying. And I'm just doing like quick, small, small movements, and then I'm just going to increase the throttle a little bit. So, you know, if you do a sudden, sudden changes, especially towards the wind, it starts purposing. So you may have to modulate it as, you know, the opposite way it is going. It's going up, you just take the throttle down and you have to time it perfectly. So it's, it's flyable actually. As you can see, if you can see my hands, I'm trying to like do really small movements and then not really keeping it there for a long time, like close to the center. I mean, look at the throttle position. And it is flying pretty good. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. I should say my expectations were not really high, but this is, a, this is fun. This could be fun. Again, I do not recommend this as a, as a beginner airplane. This is just for playing around, I will say. If you want uh, a young one getting started or you want to start, don't start with this one. It will. It is difficult for me to fly, and it will be much more difficult for them to fly. Kaya, oh, okay. Now it landed. <laughs> I think uh, the one I recommend for beginners is the one I flew. Which one? Uh, the which color? The oh, the the one the white, white and red. The yeah. Volantex RC Sport Cup 500 is the one. Oh. <laughs> you want to play? Want to, uh, hey, cutie. Anyway. <laughs> I, I would like to fly it again. This is, I mean, if you can tell, I'm going to let me show you how bad the wind is. Do you see this? Yeah. And it is changing direction a little bit. So, so it is quite impressive that I actually were able to boat Kaya. You did a good job. And I were able to fly this in this weather because it is really windy. So in a calm weather, probably it will be much better. I'm going to do just one uh, more circuit around, and uh, but I just want to finish the video. Let's throttle, Kaya. Turn, just turn, just turn. Hmm. No throttle, just just the turning. Yeah, Cut off the throttle completely. Yeah, I am. All right. 
We are doing good, you are doing good. Yeah. L, L throttle now, L throttle. Okay, good. You did good. It was crazy windy. I literally saw it like at the tree and I'm like so scared. Yeah, no, I was more scared that it was going to go towards the street. But yeah. you did good. Yeah, no throttle and it's still flying, right? Yeah, it's flying. I mean, it's because it, when you when you are turning, it's still giving some power. Like yeah. try turning, just show. So you need to stop. So when you turn, it's still operating the the motor. So it kept climbing even without. The... But it is it is better than I expect in this crazy wind. I mean, it is really strong wind now. Yeah, you see that? Yeah, I mean, it's flying off your hand. Yeah, I don't want to bend it too much. No, that's good. You did great. For a two-channel airplane? Did you like it? Yeah, I think it's well, not great for beginners like me, but if you want to have fun with this plane, like my dad says, it's easy to see with all this yellow, and during sunny days, you can see the black. So, yeah, it's great. And how, how about uh, it costs uh, $35 to ship to Earth? I'm yeah. sorry. Thirty-four ninety-nine. Yep. Is it is it a good price? Do you think? Mm, whom, yeah. whom do you recommend this? Yeah, like intermediate. Okay. Thank you for for your help with this review, Kaya. Bye. It is the same day. It is quite calm now. It is uh, past seven p.m. The wind died down quite a bit, and I'm, I wanted to give it an, another try. So turn on this one first, this one second, up, down, and ready to go. Okay, it's a little tail heavy. I didn't put any weight, but still it's worth trying and see if it flies okay. Yeah, I mean, you can see it's a little, a little tail, tail heavy. I am at this throttle, so maybe 20% throttle and still climbing. And I think the turns are making it kind of uh, gain altitude. You know, after the turns, when you let go, it just gains altitude. It is, it is tail heavy. I mean, so it's so little uh, throttle right now. I'm trying to modulate. Oh, it's making worse at undulating. But so if you time it correctly, I think you can get rid of the, those undulations a little bit, the porpoise thing. It is flying pretty good. I mean, I, for a two-channel plane, I, it's not going to get any better than this, I think. It's quite good. If you time it right, it, it just flies straight. Like, uh, if you're not waiting too long until you do the reaction, if you anticipate when it's going to go up and then when it's going to go down, and then you do that, and then it flies pretty good, actually. Yeah, the turns kind of uh, get it off balance, but I mean, for a little two channel toy flyer, it is quite impressive that it can fly so stably. You can see it's almost like in, in a cradle. It just wags its wings when it gets all out of balance, you let go and then it wags its wings a little bit, but it keeps flying. And uh, it takes so little, so little power, I mean, The power setting is really low. Let's see if I can bring it in a little closer. And it is a gentle flyer. I mean, I was I will be expecting it to fly much faster, but almost caught it. But <laughs> yeah, that's it. I'm quite impressed. I haven't seen any 
two channel plane flying this good for $35, I highly recommend it. Again, just accept it as a toy. Even if you're an intermediate pilot, uh, not a beginner, this can help you with your tra throttle management in my opinion because it's two channel. It is a little more challenging than uh, using control surfaces. So you have to think ahead of its flying. So, I mean, hey, $30, $35. It's almost uh, indestructible. A very nice controller, feels good in the hand. And it has a carrying case. Uh, great color, I love yellow and black. Yellow, it stands out so you can see it at any light condition. It even comes with the landing gear. I haven't tried taking off from the ground, but I think enough, it has enough power to do that. So, and it has a power switch. See, you can turn it off. A great little flyer. Uh, thank you for watching and stay tuned. I will have another two channel plane on the way. So I'll be doing the unboxing of that soon and then I will do a comparison. But it is uh, great that you can join me on these videos. Take care, stay safe and healthy. See you on the next video. Bye bye.